Welcome back to Land the House. As you know, I do a lot of work with the hydraulic ram pump. And since I post so much about them, I get a lot of feedback on how I should be improving my design. One thing that comes up over and over again is that you should definitely never use a poly pipe like this one right here because it uh, expands and uh, has so much give that it reduces the efficiency significantly. You should uh, at the very least use PVC pipe but it's preferred to use a steel like a stainless steel or galvanized pipe. And uh, today I wanted to try out the two of these back to back and see just what the difference is because in most people's setups uh, your creek's going to have lots of turns and winding spots and it's just going to be awkward to use a, uh, a rigid pipe so I just wanted to see if there was much of a difference in the two so let's give it a try. Here's my setup. I have a pressure gauge hooked up to the ram pump and first I'm going to be testing this half inch black poly pipe. The head pressure is going to be somewhere around three feet and that should give us I'm guessing somewhere around 20 psi. So next I'm going to use this PVC pipe and see if the pressure increases any at the pump here. So let's go ahead and get this cranked up and see what kind of results we get. See if I can get this sitting up a little straighter. Okay. Shouldn't take but a little bit to get this thing primed. Okay. I think we've got it now. I'm going to let this sit for right at two to two and a half minutes and see what kind of pressure we build up. Here's an example of the inefficiency of this poly pipe. See that jump that's occurring? That definitely reduces the efficiency there. And you can really see it up here along this big drop here. It's fun though to see the pressure wave flying through that pipe. Okay, it's been almost two minutes. Let's see what we have down here. Pressure is around 15 PSI right now. We'll give it another 30 seconds and see what we get. It's been two and a half minutes. Let's see if I can get right on this thing. It's 15, maybe 16 PSI, but I think 15 would be close enough to call it on this one. Okay, I'm gonna shut this off. Need to release this pressure a little bit. Here's the setup with the PVC pipe. Comes out of the bucket just as before. Runs down here. It's got a couple different couplers. There's one right there. And then it comes down here. The drive pipe is about two and a half feet shorter than it was before, but the head pressure should be the same. Go ahead and crank this open here and start priming this and see what type of pressure we get. It did prime a little bit quicker. All right, started that at, give it two minutes here. So, as you can see, the bouncing effect has pretty well stopped. I'm seeing just a very slight bit of bounce right here. Got some barking dogs over here. I'm not seeing any real bounce over here either, so it has definitely reduced that significantly. The dog was barking at a deer in the woods, so I went over there to see it. And while it was uh, running over here, the pressure was greater and it popped the valve loose where I don't have this connected. So maybe the pressure really is a lot greater. So anyway, let's keep trying here. It ran for about uh, 15 seconds. <laughs> it happened again. The, there's not much pipe holding this valve on here, but it's just enough to pop it loose. So it's fun that there is more pressure hammering this thing. All right, almost done with the test. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> I'm going to have to hold that thing on there. I had to hold this valve in place because it was popping loose with the greater pressure. Let's see what we have here on our gauge. Hopefully that's focused for you. 
Looks like approximately 25 PSI. Using the more rigid PVC pipe versus the black poly pipe. <laughs> Using the more rigid PVC pipe versus the black poly pipe, there was 10 PSI greater. That is pretty significant. So for all the, those that say you got to have the PVC versus the poly pipe for the efficiency, correct. You'll notice that in my personal setup, I use PVC pipe uh, anchored down to my flume. So it definitely has the greater kick to it. But like I said, if you have a very winding creek and you can't use PVC, the poly pipe does work. But you are going to get better results from a more rigid drive pipe. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are in the market for purchasing a ram pump, head over to landhouse.com. I have four different sizes available. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.